All right guys, welcome to day two of my declutter series. Today we're gonna to be working on bronzers and blushes. I decided not to put highlighters in here because I just, right now, it's at an extreme, extreme place. And I'm gonna need some time with that, okay? <laughs> so I thought we'd work on blushes, bronzers, and basically any palettes that mostly have blushes and bronzers. Um, we're gonna get into it straight away. If you haven't seen day one, I will leave that linked and uh, check that out for any like disclaimers or maybe questions because I just wanna get straight into it. So let's, let's lay these all out. I believe I have 18 products here for the bronzer section is what I'm gonna call this. It's also like some contour products, anything kind of in that realm. Um, it's kind of, it's quite a bit. I think it's a lot. So um, I know off the bat, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this cover effects. I have this in a project pan and I, I just feel like it's getting too old. So it's just one of those products, it's time for it to go. I, I guess I'll just continue on with my creams. I have the Milk Makeup Stick. Um, this is the bronzing stick and I really love this product. I'm gonna finish this and like continue using it for the rest of the year. Like mine, like you can see it's cracked. Like. It is an oldie, but a goodie, and I wanna get as much use out of it as possible, but it is getting older, so I'm gonna keep this for the rest of the year and then kinda figure out what the hell I'm doing with it. I also have these Clarins ones, and let me, I'm not really swatching, so I'm sorry. I really don't wanna swatch too much. Uh, I'm sorry if you don't like that or you wish I would, but if you want me, maybe once I have like an actual collection, we can do like an appreciation video of the things I have and we can really swatch in depth and I can tell you why I have it and what I like to do with it. But for the declutter, it's more about like getting out things I don't want. So for these two, I'm gonna keep the lighter shade of the, the bronzer, but this is just a little dark, I think, for me. It blends out really beautifully, but um, I think I could pass it along. All right, continuing on. Bronzers, I know I love. This Bare Minerals bronzer, I really enjoy. It's pretty, you know, dusty, crusty, dirty, and I love it. I think it works really well. It's a really good one for my skin tone, so I'm keeping that. This is a bronzer that I want to finish using up, so it's from Benefit, it's Hula Light. I wouldn't purchase this today, this is an older product, but as you can tell, there's barely anything left, so I just want to finish that up, hopefully by the end of the year. This is a bronzer from Ofra, and it's the collaboration with Samantha March. I think this is a really beautiful bronzer, and I love the idea of having like a more matte or like satin matte and a more shimmery bronzer all in one pan. I wanna keep this for summer and like bronze draping. I feel like this one's a little bit deeper for me than some of my other bronzers, so I think it's gonna be best for summer. And like I said, I think some bronze draping potentially with this might be a good idea. So I'm gonna keep that one for now. This pure one is one of my lighter matte bronzers, and I think I'm gonna also keep this one. The reason is I don't have that many. I have the Hula Light, but once that's gone, I won't have anything that's matte and super light. And I'm also not as tan as I normally am um, because I've been inside so much more. So I do think that this might come in handy more than it would have before. So I'm gonna keep that one as well. This is in my project pan. This is from Wander Beauty. It's the trip for two. It is a blush and bronzer duo, but I mostly use the bronzer. I'm trying to hit pan on the bronzer. So I'm gonna be keeping this one. I do think it's like a nice overall duo, pretty classic colors in here. So I'm gonna keep that. Okay, let's get rid of something. I'm gonna get rid of this. <laughs> I know, it's so beautiful. Look at this packaging, you guys. And look at my setup. This is from Tarte, it's the Park Avenue Princess. I got this in a boxy charm, and I do think that it's pretty. It's something that was always on my like lust list for some reason, but now having it, it's no longer a lust. Like it's like once you get it, it's like, oh. So I'm gonna pass it on. I know someone will love, like this is such an amazing, thing to pass on um, to someone. I just know how I would feel if I didn't have a lot of makeup and I got this, I would be like so stoked. Um, lots of bronzers. I feel like these are all very similar. Obviously this palette is really intended for like light to medium skin only. Um, it's just, yeah, I just, 
I think the best part about this is the packaging and it does smell pretty good as well. Um, but other than that, I haven't really used it. It's not really my formula. It's not really my colors. Like it just has to go. This is my newest bronzer. And if you guys haven't seen what like I'm talking about with the bronze, oh my God, do not look at me. If you guys haven't seen what I've been talking about with like bronze draping, I'm gonna leave my video using this, demonstrating what I'm talking about. But this is the Natasha Denona bronze palette. It has some creams, it has some uh, powders in here. I guess I'll swatch this for you guys because it's newer, but I did swatch it in that video as well. So you can see here, it's really beautiful. These are very light swatches. It's very warm and bronzy. The whole bronze collection is very warm toned bronzes. There's nothing neutral about it. It's warm toned. So just if you were wondering, cause I know pictures look different everywhere. I've really been enjoying this. I'm obviously keeping this, it's new and it's exciting and I really have liked it so far. Now we get into some other products. This is definitely difficult for me. You guys, okay. I'm gonna get rid of this Lawless. This is like a loose setting powder. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a golden translucent, but they were like, you can use it to bronze. And I'm sure you can. I just don't think I'm going to. When I think of all the beautiful bronzers I do have, I don't think I'm gonna use this guy. So I'm gonna pass that on. I have a lot of bronzers here I really love. So these hourglass ones, these came from my kit. I've been using, which one have I been using? Oh yeah, I've been using this one, Nude Bronze Light, and I've really been enjoying the way it looks. So this one I'm definitely keeping. And then this one, which is Radiant Bronze Light, it's also really pretty and it's really subtle and I think I'm gonna keep it still too. I wouldn't have bought both of these if it was obviously just for personal, but I had it in my kit and that is what I was using them for. So I think I'm gonna keep both of those still at this point. Yeah, can I get rid of more stuff? I'm not sure. Uh, this is what's hard. I love this pretty vulgar bronzer. This has, I mean, look at it. It's been used and abused. This seems like it'd be really dark, but I'm telling you the way it shears out, it's really quite beautiful and it, it doesn't look as dark. I, I have a lot of control over application. So I'm gonna keep this. I also love the packaging. Like this was a really good boxy charm item. Kevin Aquan, this is my only sculpting powder. I never sculpt my face, uh, but I do enjoy having the option. And I do think that this powder is so beautiful from him. I have it in light and I'm gonna keep it. My last two things here. Okay, so I have this NARS palette. This is given to me from Hannah, um, Hannah Louise Poston. And I think it's so freaking beautiful. Like. It's so my style. I love every single one of these highlighters. I love the bronzers. I want to keep this. Like this is such a great thing to get passed on to me. <laughs> um, so I do want to definitely keep this guy. I know it's like older, but I think the powders work fine. And again, it's something that like inspires me. It feels like mm, it's so my style. I want to keep that. And then we're here with the butter bronzer, which I haven't used in a long time. It's also been repressed. I don't know why I haven't been using the butter bronzer. I think I'm gonna keep this for now and see if the repressing is something that um, works for me. Sometimes when you repress stuff, it just doesn't work the same, but I haven't used this since I repressed it. And I think the reason was because for a long time it was broken and I couldn't use it. So we'll see, maybe I can try to use this one up as well this year. It is a bit of a like lighter, more natural bronzer where you don't have to like worry about, you know, it getting too heavy or too dark or anything. So for now I'm gonna keep it, but my love for this has kind of waned. And I don't know if that's just again, because I have I haven't been using it or what, but this used to be my like favorite thing. So it's really weird for me to have these feelings. But if I'm being honest with myself, that is kind of where I'm at with that. So this was not like the most successful, I would say. I'm only getting rid of four products in the bronzer section, but we still have a lot to go with the blushes and I think I can do some damage there. So let's move on to blushes. Here's an overview of all my blushes. This one doesn't have anything in it. All my stuff is so dirty, you guys. I'm so sorry. And it's a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of my palettes in here as well. I think that I'm just gonna leave it in here and just declutter from here. That way it'll it'll just be simpler, I think. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's get into this. What do I know I love? 
all of it. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Focus, Lauren, focus. I know I love my Bloom palette. You guys know that, I know that. It's what convinced me to get the bronze palette. I freaking love this thing, okay? Um, you can see a lot of use in this and that's because it's so good. So definitely, obviously keeping that. I'm also keeping my Kaleidos blushes. These are the blush duos. I've actually been using this one a ton. What I do is I put my brush in this and then brush in that and then brush back in this. And I do a little bit of like subtle blush draping with that duochrome, it's so pretty. So I'm actually surprised how much I've been enjoying and incorporating this duochromatic um, kind of like more shimmery blush. I have a whole video on these if you want to see like in-depth swatches or anything like that, but I'm going to be keeping that for sure. And then this is the other one, the rose. It's a little bit more cool toned. I want to keep that too. So those I know I want. And with Kaleidos, I'm lucky enough to get PR from them. Um, and so I have like almost all their products, I think, that they offer. And so I do like kind of being a resource potentially as new things launch or whatnot. Um, so that's just something I keep in mind, but I genuinely just love those too and wanna keep them. So, ah, oh, it's so tough. This is so tough, you guys. There's so much I like. Okay, maybe we'll start with this dense little corner. These are all my Clinique blushes and I love them all so much, right? So I have Nude Pop. This one is the one I use like all of the time. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Nude Pop is my favorite one. It's so dirty, but um, I'm almost hitting pan, if not technically hitting pan. So that I'm definitely keeping. I have Fig Pop, which was passed on to me again from Hannah. This I feel like works so well with Nude Pop. Like if I, do you nude pop it one a little bit more then I can add some of this and it it's just it's a really beautiful kind of ruddy shade so I'm keeping that I just love this formula as well I have this beautiful peach um, this is in the shade peach pop imagine it and then this one is my hot pink kind of like satin blush which is in uh, plum pop and I freaking love this one too for draping for like this really just such a beautiful I love it I've seen this anytime we're like getting really deep into my blushes but these are like some of the most tried and true like formulas in my collection um and ones I I continuously like use and even as I get new stuff like they just hold up they just freaking hold up man I love these. I have to remember like, what are you doing with this to clutter, Lauren? Why are you doing this? And I'm doing it so that when I look at this drawer, it's just like favorites and inspiration and all that. So keeping that in mind, I'm keeping that in mind. This is from Tarte. This is a really nice little blush and it was a birthday gift a million years ago. I've hit pan on it, so I've obviously used it. And this is my dilemma, right? Like I, part of me wants to keep this and finish it up because I've already hit pan and it's like, it seems doable. But then part of me is like, I do like this, but I have so many other beautiful like neutral blushes I'd probably reach for over this at this point. So I kind of wanted to clutter it as well. It's not one that like brings me joy anymore, um, but then there's like that kind of panner in me and like don't want to waste in me. But I think I am going to pass like to get rid of this one. I had some great times with this free little like birthday blush that they gave out, man. I like, you know, I got some use out of this thing. So I'm gonna get rid of it though. When I think of like holistically how I wanna look at my blushes, I don't need this in the in the collection. Kind of similar, this is from Ciate. I repressed this and so many people were like, why'd you repress this? But the reason I did is because it had actually come totally detached from the base. Um, and so I sat there and I did repress it. This is just not really a color for me. It's kind of a basic pinky peach, but not like super warm, but not like super cool. It's just kind of a basic color. Um, so that I'm gonna get rid of as well. I love the packaging though. And I love that it's like shimmery, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Two gone guys. Okay, two gone, we can do this. This is my like hot pink blush. I love this thing for blush draping. I love this thing for even sometimes eyeshadow. It's from Pretty Vulgar and I'm going to continue to keep it. It's my only blush in this tone that I have and I do really enjoy it. And I use it 
more frequently than you would think for it being so bright. This is one of those like really neutral blushes from Tarte. It's Celebrated, which was like a limited edition color. And although I don't use it all the time, it's one of my most like nude or like barely there blushes that's so tried and true for me that I have to keep, I'm keeping this one as well. Um, I'm someone, I do love blushes, but I also tend to stick to a pretty similar pattern or similar color scheme, and I'm fine ultimately with that. This is from Pixie, and it's in collaboration with From Head to Toe. Um, I thought maybe I could use this. It's so shimmery, guys. It is beautiful, and part of me is like, you could totally like do some blush, topping, and draping, and like part of me wants to do that, but part of me is also like, it's so new, um, why not pass it on? I know I could also use stuff I already like have and whatnot to create some of those looks. It is so beautiful though, and it would look so good as a draper. Mm, you guys, why am I like this? Why, 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 why? I'm gonna get rid of it, I'm gonna get rid of it. I know I'm just talking myself into it. I know I'm just talking myself into it. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of it. I have my Laura Geller blushes here. These have always been such a soft spot for me because I think this formula is just divine. It's really great. This is boysenberry. This is like the only matte one I think I have and I love this color. Like this color I love. I love Bora Bora for like a light pinky like peach. I've hit pan on that one. That was a while ago, but I still freaking love it. This is Tropic Hues, which is just like such a classic. And it has like such a nice shimmer to it. And then this one is like Peach Crumble. Yep, Peach Crumble, look at me go. And this one has such a shimmer to it. And I love that too. And it's like so hard for me to get rid of these, even though I really don't use them nearly as much as I used to. I really don't as much as I used to but it's like, it's so tough. I don't wanna like let them go. I think I'm gonna let, okay. I think I can let go Bora Bora because it's a little bit uh, bright. I know, I don't know how it's coming across on camera, but it's a brighter pinky peach, so I can let that go. Okay, okay, I'm feeling empowered. Tropic Hues is beautiful. Like it's just golden and beautiful, so I think I'm gonna keep that. I think, Let's see boysenberry and fig together. Why not? So there they are. I think I'm gonna keep the Clinique one and get rid of boysenberry. I love it, I do. I feel weird, um, but I think I'm gonna get rid of both of these. I'm just trying to be good. I'm trying to be realistic. And I'm trying to also, once again, it's like what it's gonna make me happy. And it's like, as much as my nostalgia for these and I love the formula, these are what's gonna make me happy in my collection overall, like when I look at it. And I think represent me better when I look at my collection. So I'm getting rid of these Laura Geller and it sucks because I like them. I'm just gonna keep the one and wow, okay. What a moment, what a moment. I also like to keep in mind like when I'm getting rid of stuff, I'm not doing it because I wanna like then add more stuff necessarily or I don't wanna get rid of stuff I'm gonna be missing. I'm not trying to necessarily do that. Okay, anyway, this is from Ciate London. This is the shade Burnt. And this one is definitely different for me color wise, but I love this one for draping as well. Oh my gosh, my hand's kind of wet. I also really like the formula. It's like nice and buildable. I'm gonna keep that. It's a newer one also. I have two of these Hourglass. This is an OG, the OG blush palette. It has Luminous Flush, Iridescent Electra, and Mood Exposure. I also have Dim Infusion, um, which I got as like BoxyCharm points. So this is Dim Infusion, or no, in a BoxyCharm. Uh, this one, let me show you what this looks like. Mood Exposure is my favorite. I really like that. The other two I could live without. Like Mood Exposure, I wish I just had that in a mini because I think that one's so pretty. Dim Infusion I think is also quite beautiful. It's more of that like peachy. I don't know what I wanna do. I might pass this on and then if I feel like I'm really missing Mood Exposure, I can always purchase just that one. But to like let all of the other blushes in here not get use um, because they're just not really my thing, I think is a tragedy. Yeah, I think it's a tragedy. And although this one's older, there's nothing wrong with the formula. I mean, I just felt them. They feel exactly like they did day one. Um, so I'm gonna pass that on.
it's so weird like when you own makeup for a while sometimes it just becomes like a part of everything else and i feel like maybe that's how this has become and i'd rather give this to someone else i think i don't know it was in my kit for a long time and you know i didn't miss it so uh when it comes to this blush pretty nice i'm gonna keep this on the maybe i don't know why it's in the maybe you guys know i've been loving my hourglass stuff lately but i'm i don't know it's about the actual color instead of the brand for me on that okay i don't know where we left off i don't know if we were on these ofra blushes i hope to god i need to be better about looking at the stuff i'm so sorry guys but jumping into where we are um i'm like trying to figure out how to like condense these ofra blushes blah 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 i've already decided that since these two are the same i'm getting rid of the big one and then um because i had this one this like i think this is bellini I think it's Bellini, but Bellini is also in here. I'm going to be switching this out for Samantha March's Chiclet. So I'm putting that in the Chiclet one. I'm going to be putting Samantha's blush in this palette. So it's now my custom palette. Um, I've done this before. I remember in a declutter and I like moved things around, but now I've gotten rid of two of these like more bulky pieces in my collection and I don't have any repeats and I have all the same shades that I did have. So I think that's really great. Actually, I'm glad I did that instead of keeping those other two because someone else will love these. I love the Ofra blushes. Um, and I know someone else will totally love to get these. So passing those on. Um, and now I just have the two from Ofra. Um, and Ofra, like I had mentioned in the first video, is a brand that I do work with actually. I've done different stuff on their Instagram and on their channel. And so I do like having some products from them for that purpose so that I can like do potential videos, especially if I like them, obviously. Um, and so I also have this pro palette that they sent me. Um, and I'm also going to keep that because I think that it has some really beautiful tones in here. And if I'm working with them again or, you know, want it, I'm going to, I'm going to keep that. Um, it's not like an everyday thing, but I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I'm going to keep that. This is more of like a, because of a YouTube. And that's something that I have to come to terms with that my collection, as much as I want it to be only mine and I want it to be very personal, um, I have to think about the fact that it can't only be personal when my collection is also like a part of a job in some ways. So I I'm grappling with that a little bit. I've just kind of come to terms with a little bit of that lately. So anyway, I'm still doing pretty well, <laughs> I think. Uh, better maybe than I thought I would. So I'm, I'm happy about that. I think ultimately I am gonna keep my hourglass blush. So I'm gonna keep that. Okay, I have a bunch of blushes here from Odin's Eye, which they sent me so much amazing makeup. I think they're a really great brand, guys. I, I've been enjoying their stuff. I have five of their blushes here and I wanna be really careful about which ones I'm keeping and which ones I can pass on while they're still like really new and awesome just because of my preference not because of like formula so this is the one i have been using apricot girl um i really love this one so keeping that this is water lily and i think it's really beautiful i just don't know if it's one i'm personally gonna get a ton of use out of so i'm gonna pass that one on i believe this is ripe papaya which is a little bit brighter for me uh i don't know but i like that it's matte we have sweet tulip which is a really beautiful like darker shade i don't know i think i'm gonna pass that one on too this one's more of like a bronzery type shade almost um and this is little jasmine i think i'm also gonna pass that one on nothing wrong with them i just know i'm not gonna get as much use out of them as i could so i thought i would pass them on we're getting down right now to not that much so i'm gonna uh condense this and move this out of the way and, and whatnot okay now we can really see what's going on and what we have back to this ripe papaya shade I do like it as a fun pop, but I think I might have stuff in my Ofra palette that will do this. So again, I think I'm gonna pass that on. Okay, we have some palettes here and we have some cream blushes and then we have this kind of weird anomaly of a product. Okay, my couture, these are like little blush. Let me, I kinda wanna, I've wanted to use these for a while and I just never do it. So let's just take off 
the Band-Aid. So these are like, they're supposed to be blush pads. Oh shoot, what side's the blush on? Why would they do that? Okay, the blush side went, <laughs> They're supposed to be like, you can rub them in and they give you a blush, little papers, and you can like touch up on the go. I think it's a really pretty color. And uh, I'm going to try, actually now that I've made the sticky less sticky. Here, okay, first I need to do this. Now that this is all in order, I'm gonna try to give these a shot. We'll see if I like them. They seem like a really nice, I like this color, like a peachy like that. I do like colors like that. I also wanna try to use these for a video, I think. So I'm gonna keep these. No, I'm not. Okay, oh my gosh. I keep going back and forth. I'm not gonna use these. I haven't used them. I'm not gonna use them. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that was good. I think that was ultimately a great decision. All right, let's do the palettes before we get into the creams. I have four palettes here. I have two from Becca. I love this thing. Freaking gorgeous. I love it. I've talked a lot about it. I'm gonna keep it. I think it's so pretty. I also do really love my Alomar Cosmetics Blush Trio. This is very warm. Um, it's like a lot of oranges and then there's like the cooler pink. I'm gonna keep it as well. I think they're very interesting blushes. I like the formula. It's buildable. Um, I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna keep that. It's like very summery too, summery makeup. That's like where my head's at right now. These two are hard. This one's the hardest one. I think ultimately I'm gonna get rid of it, but it makes me, I just, I like this. I know it's W7 and it's like cheap, but these are like really nice quality. I, let's see. Like, they work so well and that's what's hard for me. And I think it, like range wise, it has a nice range for me. It's so tough, but I'm not using this as much as I was. I should use it way more than I am and I could pass this on and someone else would probably really love it. It's just hard. Like it's hard to think of it sitting in my collection and not using it. And that's what I think will happen if I keep it. So I think, you know, the hard decision is to pass on things, even if you like them, but aren't using them. And that's what this is. I really like this, but I'm not using it currently. So I'm going to pass it on. Okay, last palette. This is the Be The Light. And I will be keeping this as well. This really only has one blush in it, this one. And I do, I do like it and it works nicely with everything in here, but I use all of the products. So this has like a bit of a bronzer. It has like this, which I use as a really light bronzer. And then I use this to set my face when I do set my face usually. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this. It's one of those face palettes that actually like works for me. And last we have my cream blushes, which I don't, I mean, I have a lot of, it seems, you know, there's a lot here, but it's mostly like one type. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through the ones that are different. I'm keeping my Milk Makeup Stick one. I got this from a BoxyCharm and I've enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I've been using it also quite a bit. It looks very berry, but I'm telling you, it, it's so sheer. Do you see this? It's pretty dang sheer, which I actually really like. It makes it super wearable and controllable. So I'm gonna keep that. I've heard some of you guys say that you've had either problems or other people have. I've not experienced that so far. So I'm keeping my eye out, but I haven't had any problems with it. This is from Emile Cordon and I really like this one too. I especially like it in the winter time when I wanna be glowy. Um, and I love this color for that time as well. It can be used on the lips or the cheeks and it stays kind of glossy, but it doesn't feel sticky. It's really beautiful. So that I'm gonna keep too. I got sent this, I wouldn't buy it. It's like a very expensive product, um, but I have it and I do enjoy it. And it's a different formula than any of the other ones I'm, I have here. So that I'm going to keep. I also like the smell when I use it. It's just kind of like a sweet smell. I don't know. It just reminds me of like last winter. So that one I'm going to keep. Now I have my Glossier ones here and then I have some CoverGirl. I didn't get on with the cover girl. Hannah did, she like loves these. So, you know, some people like them, some people don't. I didn't particularly love them. So these I'm gonna pass on all four. And then I have my Glossier, which I have some repeats. So I want to get rid of those. It's weird because these are both beam, but you can see the difference in color. And then these are both dusk and, well, those are like the same essentially. 
but um, I want to keep the ones that I've used the most of. I can't remember. I had a friend give me all of her cloud paints, which I think she had all of them. And then I had two already. Um, I can't remember which ones are mine and which ones are hers. Not that it matters. I just want to use the ones that I used the most of were mine and I'd rather pass on the ones that have more product. I think this is the, the beam I'm gonna get rid of. I think it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna get rid of one of the dusks. So I have beam and dusk. These are the two I really enjoy for like more natural looks. And then these ones, I'm gonna keep all of them um, because I don't have a lot of cream blushes and these stop me from like being tempted to buy other cream blushes in more intense colors because I have um, them here in the Glossier formula if I want them. I do want some more cream blushes in general. I just, I enjoy them a lot right now. I especially like them though in like pan form in palettes or just in a compact. I just can just dip my sponge in and, and go. It's just easier than these tubes, but I do like the Glossier formula. I think it's really good. So I'm gonna keep all of those. All right, so these are the cream blushes I am keeping. And then these are the blushes I'm keeping. So I, I put a lot of my like single blushes here. I have like lots of room for palettes. I have some palettes here and I have those. And then this like is hard to get to in my drawer. So I usually leave it empty, but I feel really good about how um, much more like room I have. And I ended up keeping, there's 22 here plus my cream blushes. I feel pretty dang good about that. I mean, obviously these are some palettes, so there's like multiple blushes in some of these. So it's not like 22 pans, but I feel great. And I'm gonna show you what I've gotten rid of. I'm getting rid of 17 different blushes. I feel freaking amazing to do that. Um, especially like sometimes when you get PR like this, it's sometimes, I don't know why it's hard to like let it go. Even if you kind of know in your heart, you're not going to use those colors. So I feel great to be able to pass some of these on like untouched. I also feel like like looking at this, like some nostalgia items, things you've maybe had a really long time, like. I've had these all a long time. I've had these a long time um, and that's tough. And then I had some duplicates. So I feel, I feel good about passing these things on and letting other people enjoy them and really letting my collection be a representation of me currently, not just like everything I've ever loved under the sun at some point. Because if that were the case, like my collection would be massive and it really would drown out what I'm loving now still, even if I did love it at one point or still would enjoy the formula. If it's not like a current use and love, it's, it still might need to go. So I feel really, really great with how I've downsized some of the items in my collection. And we're gonna move on to highlighters for tomorrow. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. Hope you're enjoying the Declutter series and I'll see you tomorrow.